Hey, how's that? Buddy Isaacs here. Oh, we just out in the forest today, walking around, looking at some uh, colors. All the trees are starting to turn colors now. And I'm using my cell phone today because uh, my computer is broke. And I can't, uh, it won't even turn on. What in the world is all this? Let me see what we can find here. They got me a new phone, so maybe my quality will be just a little bit better. I want y'all to look at this. Look at that. Now that right there is probably the neatest thing I have ever seen. Look at the mushrooms. They're everywhere. Man, that is, that is, that's awesome right there. Uh, anyway, yeah, we just out walking around through the woods today. And I was going to do a Halloween video, you know, because this is October and I said I was going to do some. But uh, since my camera broke and I am ill prepared, hang on just a second, let me get on through here. Oh, more mushrooms. Dude, look at that. They go all the way around that tree. That's the only tree I see them around. Walk over here at the edge of this cliff. That ain't really a cliff, but a long way down through there. I fell over that bank one time. All the way at the bottom. Pretty awesome. And uh, that's in memories. I wouldn't take nothing from my memories. But anyway, yeah, I could uh, bring y'all a couple things here. And, ouch. There's a bar just wrapped plumb around my leg and I almost took it off. But uh, just the way it is. Whew. It's a nice little hike out in here in these mountains. Eastern Kentucky. I love it out in here. But anyway, I couldn't. I didn't bring you nothing for Halloween this week as far as demonstrations. I do have a story for you. Now, I was uh, doing some research on some Halloween stuff and uh, come to find out, I wish I could find somewhere to set this phone. Then I'll have to, I'll have to do a thing to see if, let me see if I can get it to set right here. If I can, it'd be awesome. It ain't gonna set here. Nope. I dropped it. I dropped y'all. Sorry about that. But, uh, I was looking up some stuff the other day about, laying up on this tree, about mirrors. Did you know that some people believe that mirrors can actually capture a spirit? And, uh, some people say that it's a portal for spirits and ghosts to come to and from this world. And it's pretty neat because I read it pretty extensive. All right, I dropped y'all again. Make sure my camera's still going. Yeah, it looks like it is. <laughs> this phone's slick. I ain't got a case for it yet. It's a brand new phone. And uh, I like it pretty good. It's a Phoenix 5. But anyway, I ain't advertising. <laughs> but, uh, but mirrors, that's why that's why sometimes you can capture some people say they see a silhouette in a mirror because it has captured the spirit of that person or or being that's in your house and uh or anywhere you know it could be an old museum or anything but I've heard people actually tell me that they've saw stuff in mirrors before well according to what according to what people say and according to what I read it's because that the spirit or ghost is trapped inside the mirror. Probably wouldn't recommend breaking it. Uh, they also say that if you do break the mirror, it can release the spirit. Now, I don't know. I got an old mirror in my house that's been in there for, well, ever since I bought the place. And uh, we have stuff going on in our house all the time. We've had stuff fly off the counter. I've been hit in the back by a roll of paper towels. Uh, my wife seen people walk through the house to do it in there. My daughter's seen people go through the house that wasn't there. And uh, we actually heard somebody, not too long ago, we was all standing in the kitchen and somebody 
starts uh, singing, okay? Well, actually, I was in, yeah, and they start singing. Clear as a bell, clear. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better singing. Couldn't understand it, but the voice was spot on. And uh, everybody heard it. It's pretty spooky. And uh, another time we was in there and uh, had somebody actually talking. And uh, it was clear. It was clear and loud. And uh, it weren't one of us. But anyway, that was pretty awesome. And I've got that old mirror that's been in my bathroom ever since I bought the place. And I thought, I need to do some mirror experiments. Now, some people won't be able to see this stuff with your naked eye. Make sure my camera's still going. And, and uh, if you don't see it, you know, you have to see it like, uh, I don't know. Try using a camera. Because a camera is kind of like a reflection because it captures images. Okay, well, if you capture the image, I've actually got a picture on one of my phones. Uh, I got an old flip phone. I took a picture of my Christmas tree. Well, if you look at the picture on the Christmas tree, it actually shows there's a silhouette of a something. You can tell it's a person standing beside my Christmas tree against the wall. You can see the eyes. You can see the face. You can see the whole body. And uh, when I first saw that, I was like, <laughs> whoa, you know, and uh, it's pretty spooky stuff. Uh, yeah, but just uh, keep that in mind every time you walk by a mirror. Just kind of glance over at it and make sure it's you looking back at you, not somebody else. And uh, I watched the show, I actually watched the show the other day where they was... Uh, standing in front of a mirror and there was three words that they had to say three times and I ain't saying it. I won't even say it one time out here in the middle of the woods. Ain't happening. But, uh, yeah, stuff like that spokes me out. But I'm going to start watching that mirror. I'm actually going to start walking in there and just kind of sneaking in and taking pictures of the mirror and seeing if I can catch something that way. And, uh, I couldn't bring y'all a Halloween experiment, so I bring you a spooky story. Now, every time you walk through a mirror, what in the world is that? Cats meowing. I got cats following me out in the woods. I hope that's mine. <laughs> oh, well, I don't think there's no mirrors out here, so I guess that's one of my cats. I'm way out here. I don't know why they followed me way out here anyway. I'm like a mile and a half out in the woods. I hope I get home all right. Oh, man. What are you meowing for? Quit meowing. People don't want to hear you meow. That's that blue-eyed kitty. I wish y'all could see that one up close. It's got the bluest eyes. I've never seen a cat with blue eyes before. Well, I have, but I've never owned one. So I'll tell you what. Let's walk on around through here just a little bit and look at some more fall colors. And uh, there's been something right here. It's probably deer tracks. But I've got loads of deer out in here too. And uh, I'll tell you, there ain't nothing like getting out. I'll tell you what, it was 70 degrees yesterday and right now it's like 40. I mean, the temperature has dropped dramatically. And I should have probably wore a jacket, but uh, I left it at the house. I'm about froze to death out here. <clears throat> and here's just some more fall colors, fall foliage. Way down over the mountain, down through there. Looks pretty neat. But I've been wanting to get out, and there's one place I've been wanting to go to where I could really, you can see for miles, and uh, I ain't been able to get up there yet either. And uh, it's been raining. It rained all weekend last weekend, so I really didn't get to put nothing up. But And, uh, yeah, I'm hoping we can get out and do something this weekend. Bring y'all another one of these good experiments I've been working on. I ain't forgot about the pumpkin. I've already got the pumpkin. I've just got to set it up, carve it, and smash it with a golf club. And uh, I think we're going to have some pretty fun, you know, pretty good time doing that. But I love fall. I love being out in the woods this time of year. It's just, it's just hard to beat. But I'm gonna get up off here. I just thought I'd do a quick video and bring y'all the story of the mirrors. And uh, I know there's uh, one or two of you, especially, <laughs> that uh, has issues with the mirrors. And uh, 
just thought I'd uh, throw that out there and let y'all know why you were seeing stuff or why apparently you were seeing stuff that because you know I read up on this stuff a lot and I don't know that it's true or not I'm just telling you you know what I read up on it and uh y'all be safe man I need a selfie stick my arm's killing me <laughs> but y'all be safe and y'all take care of one another and remember to mask up and wash your hands like you don't like them and social distance like Sasquatch. And I was kind of hoping I'd run up on a Sasquatch today, but I ain't seeing one. So uh, I ain't seen no sign. We ain't been having a whole lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on around lately. So, uh, but uh, anyway, y'all stay safe. That's Buddy Isaacs, and I'm out.